Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to find the sum of this infinite geometric sequence. Um, and we have the formula right here. The sum equals a sub 1 divided by 1 minus r. So to go ahead and do this, we first need to figure out what r is and what a sub 1 is. So just by labeling this um, geometric sequence, we can have that's a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, dot, 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 right? All the way on. So remember, r is just simply a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 which is the same as also equal to you know, a sub 3 over a sub 2. But let's just figure out, let's do the easy one, negative 1 divided by 3. Well, that just reduces to negative 1 third, right? Perfect. Then we look at this, our first term, which is a sub 1, is in there. So now let's just plug it into our formula. So s equals a sub 1, which is 3, divided by 1 minus a negative 1 third. All right? and it's very important to make sure we apply that parentheses. It says, 1 minus r. Well, r is negative. Okay? So now, to go ahead and simplify that, I have 3 over 1 minus 1 third is going to be a positive 4 thirds. Now, to get our fraction off the denominator, I multiply by the reciprocal. That multiplies into 1, and I'm left with 9 fourths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. Thanks.